So a lot of people have been asking me, can you use these Honeywell Evo Home TRVs HR92 as a standalone TRV? And of course the basic answer is yes, you can, and it makes a really good TRV. You can use it without the rest of the Evo Home system. They're about 50 pound to buy. A normal TRV, you can get a reasonable one for 15 pound, but there is no comparison. With these, you can set the required room temperature to be half a degree increments, and it will be pretty accurate within that spread. Whereas the, the normal TRVs are struggling with a three degree spread and it's not that accurate. There is no real, real comparison. These are pretty accurate, a half a degree spread. And when it's within one and a half degrees of the temperature you want in that room, it moves the pin, which opens and shuts that valve in the radiator, letting water in and out. It shuts it gradually. So it's not like fully in or fully out. As the temperature gets nearer the required temperature, it's a gradual movement. So the long and short of that is that it holds the temperature more stably than a simple on or off TRV. And I'll just show you quickly how you would set that and use it as a standalone TRV. So in other words, you buy one of these, it goes on the valve body that you should already have on your radiator, otherwise you have to buy it with a valve body. But other than that, you don't have to buy other Eva Home equipment, any, any of the other stuff involved. That is a standalone TRV, and I'll show you exactly how you use that. So the first thing you want to check is that the TRV isn't bound. I mean, if you buy it on its own, it's not going to be bound to anything, but if you bought it secondhand or as part of a system and you're just using the TRV, it may be bound. Easy to check. You just have to tap this top button here one time, and it will then tell you if it's bound. If it's bound, it'll come up with the, the name of the zone that it was bound to. But in this case, you can see it says unbound. So I know this isn't trying to connect to any other part of an EVA home system. If it was still uh, connected, if it was still z uh, zoned to another part of the system or bound to another part of the system, you would unbind that by pressing that once then holding it for five seconds till it says bind. Then hold it again for another five seconds. And then it will say clear. And there it says cleared. So I now know um, it's not part of any other, it's not trying to communicate with any other part of the system. I just check that by hitting that once. Indeed, it says unbound and that's it so I would now place that on my valve body and when I, I have this one set to show the current room temperature by default it will show the set temperature but I, I like to see what the room temperature is but it, it but either way it will work the same so you'll turn it turn the top dial one time and it will tell you the set temperature so it's currently set to 18 degrees now, if I want that room to hold, say, a 23 degrees, I turn it once, it says 18, but then I turn it again and get it to the temperature that I want. So I set it to 23 degrees. It will then go back to tell me the room temperature, 24, and that will now hold the room temperature to uh, 23. In other words, so it will keep it open, the valve, until it starts getting towards the required temperature, and then it will slowly shut it and it's as simple as that and if you want to check it I just turn it once and it tells me it's set to 23 and it's as simple as that that simply goes on the valve body like that and it's it's set now as to work as a normal TRV thank you UK.